Okay, friends, keep your eyes on this shed. We're gonna make it look a little different than it is now. Okay, friends this is our little gig here we got the 020 and we've actually resharpened up the husky that that saw cuts i just want to show you before i want to give this video a better kind of a me and hogan did it on a whim we were going i was going camp and we did it on a whim i just wanted to show that those straps uh can pull you out of the bite in a in a in a real life situation um uh that that we run into in the trees uh, obviously you're going to be double tied in that seems to be the gig i i was never taught that way but i'm old so here is the the 35 again or whatever this thing's called we're going to see if it'll run but it is not going to run anything like this power saw we know this don't we i think i got to start with my left hand my my, my right hand <laughs> So we know this saw cuts a lot better. So we'll use this one in the in the uh, in the strap contest cutting, right? We'll just do it, just so it's more real world for everybody. So, because I want to cut the strap again, I do. I want to cut the strap again in, in more of a of a, a real situation uh, for us tree climbers. Because that saw is older. Granted, there was a few points brought up, and there's no sense in running on one wing, is there, friends? So I'll go get my gear, I'll sit back in the tree, and what I'll do is I'll put myself uh, in my picks, and I'll put myself like, you know what I mean friends, like right in the picks, and I'll put weight on the strap, and I'll cut it again, but I'll tie myself in so that I'm not going to fall back with a, with a power saw running in my hand, but I'll put weight on the saw, and we'll do it again with the 020, and see if we can cut it in half. It probably would if we just kept on it, but let's do a couple scenario, a couple tests, like snap, crack, oh! A couple of ticks and poofs before we really give it the snot. Let's give it in this video another bit of our time. All right, over and out. Hi friends, how we doing? Have you ever seen? This is I, I I've I've never used bean bags. I've never used bean bags. Okay, but what we do sometimes to get a rope up over a limb, you know, whatever, 20 feet, 15, 20, 30, somewhere's there, is we do a couple different knots, throwing knots. And I take the rope, sometimes I'll leave a little tail if I want it to stay as a clump, go over the limb, stay as a clump and, and use the weight to whip it down. Or sometimes I have it so that it, when it goes over the limb, it unravels. I think I will try that, because either way. So what I do for that is I go like this, short loops, maybe one foot loops, 10, to, 10, to, 10 inch to one foot, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Now, I just give it one of these, 
I wrap it around a couple times and then I pull through like a daisy knot, friends, okay? That's it, just like a daisy knot. So now you could even go through twice, you know, like that, so that it, it's going to unravel is what's gonna happen. So my, what I'm gonna do is, cause I wanna tie in before I my whack the strap with the power saw again so that I can put some weight on it and make this, make this little kind of test or experiment a little more acceptable by other folks who have been in the industry perhaps or who are skeptical of what went on in the last video. So uh, I'm gonna shoot for a, uh, a limb up there. I'm actually gonna shoot in this tree. There's a limb, I'll show you up, up here. So, so, so here it is, it, it's up there a ways. I'm gonna shoot for a high one and see if I can't get it to, uh, to do what I want it to. Uh, I, I may not get it, uh, but I'm gonna try. So now that you've seen what I'm doing, you can kind of see exactly what I do. So I'll move you back just a little bit, just to give a wider scoop for you, friends and family. Okay, so let out a little slack, kind of like a sailor's knot, friends. Throw a few loops in her, because you, you, you want it to, to kind of loop out of your hand as you throw it. So let's see if we can't get lucky. Okay. That came so close. Like it's actually, it's so close, but it didn't make it. Look at it. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Let's do it. I think I got it. Yes, indeed I did. We win friends. I got it. Well, there we are. Heaven's the best. There we go. That's what I want. There. Now I'm set. Okay. I'm around the limb. Let's go a ways up there, friends. Look. <laughs> you know, so that's where I was shooting for. So, hey, four spins. Not bad. I just want to be tied in for this, okay? Talk to you in a minute. Here we go. Let's do an old school tie-in. You guys can hang out right in here with me. Like, I mean, right in here. Okay, uh, I should have a lanyard. No, I don't. So I'll have to figure that out. Now, let's put this strap that I've already been kicking the crap out of around the tree. Let's do this. There we go, I nailed it. Let's click in. Okay, I gotta, oh, <laughs> that's, Oh, that's gonna be funky, friends. What? Okay, we're gonna tie in so that we can do this properly. We're gonna do an old school tie in, so we're gonna pull down a couple times, get about six or eight feet of rope before we tie our two, two half hitches, which is one, crank over, and two, right, friends? Two, over there. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, see? There we go. We got our picks. You see, we're in, okay, shebangle. Okay, now we're gonna tie our taut line hitch. Old school climbing knot. Comes up, goes around like this, goes two, once on the bottom, twice on the bottom, up tight. Keep your, knot, your knots nice and dressed, not loose. Keep them tight as you're going. There's another loop, there's one on top and two on top, which is actually on the bottom on the bottom on the top you know what i'm saying so there it is give her one of those set it by pulling up on the tail by this tail set it by pulling up and sitting down then you can there you go we are in so there we are everybody got me there it is i'll tie a my hand is not working that good so just work with me boom i'm in so now what i can do in order to get this test right to take away any discrepancies of of the power saw uh, strap cut the strap test now I, I got my two my 200 T I guess is what you call it now here we go now I can actually where is my 200 T I'm stepping on it beautiful so let's put a little slack on the old rope go down for it I don't have a lanyard with me so we're gonna pull this off and we're gonna give it a go 
But what we want to do is we want to sit in here like this. So there we go. I am literally, I am on the strap, friends. I'm literally on the strap. I'm not even on this. And we're going to do a test, friends. We are going to do a test. I'm in the tree, okay? So let's put this across here. Maybe, maybe here just for a second. I want you guys to be right on the money to see this. Okay, which you are now, okay? I'm in, I'm in the tree. I'm, I'm in the tree. There's my picks, look. See, there I am. So I'm, I'm sitting on my strap, friends. I want you guys to get this. Here's a 200T, okay? Let's quickly, uh, I don't have a lanyard and I don't know why, but I'm gonna do a couple little hip thrusts. There we go. Just so now I've got, so once I cut the strap, if it cuts, I've got, right? I'm only gonna go to the strap. See, but I'm gonna put all my weight on the strap so this makes sense. Let's do it. Right, I'm on the strap. So if you're cutting up a tree and you happen to nick your, nick your, your wire core flip line, this is what's gonna happen. You saw what I did. There, there's the scare strap cut into pieces. I whacked it once or twice, which you'd, you'd probably never whack your strap that hard. There it is. So these people that tell you that if you're leaning, I, friends, I, I'm on this now because this is loosened off. I wasn't on this. I was literally on the strap. I'm not on the strap anymore. See, there we go. Boom, now I'm on the strap. I literally just, I'm on the strap. It just slipped out. So there you go. And I got lucky on that hand too when I was doing that. Um, so, so, so there it is. Let's see, let's look at the other side. So actually what happened, it didn't even break. It slipped right through the line. Look, it didn't have a tail close. Friends, it was still holding me. It was still holding me. This is the one we cut before, remember? So it was just, this was just actually <laughs> in there. You saw what I did, my 200T sharp. I don't run dull saws, all my saws are sharp. So you saw what I did there. I was sitting on the strap. And the reason I'm redoing this video is because there was folks out there that, it's YouTube, you're always gonna get it. Hey, well, how about this and how about that? Hey, fair enough, you made some good points. So I'm clearing those points up for us. <clears throat> I literally was on the strap 100%. This was here for safety. I cracked it once good, full squirt. It, it actually didn't even hit the core the first couple times. This will be interesting to watch back for me. And then I tried to cut the thing off and cut it apart and spray it up, and it did. Friends, if you're fully on your strap, I, you just saw me do it. If you're fully on your strap, which I was, and you crack that thing real hard once, full squirt with a 200T, you're not cutting through the rope. You just saw me do it. You saw me do it twice. And then you saw me cut through it because I wanted to cut through it to see what it would take to cut through it. 
So, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I honestly don't know what else to tell you. You saw me cut with the power saw before. You saw me cut with wood. So it's probably a little dull now, which it's probably even not that bad, to be honest with you. Let's cut with it, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's just pop this out of here and get me out real quick, like. Let's do it. There we go. We're free. Free like a bird. Let's go. I'll turn you guys around to right here. And now, put this here. We will fire this thing up. <laughs> It's dull. It's dull. There we go. What do you think, friends? <laughs> Pretty cool. Sorry, friends, I left you there. So, anyway, friends, in conclusion, okay, um, you you i'm not here to waste anybody's time i don't even usually do videos like this but when i see something that is untruth or when i see something that is hearsay i think to myself in an industry like the ones we have chosen to be in friends climbing trees and hanging from great heights um do, do, do you know what I mean, friends? Look at us when he, when he, look, look, look at the gap. It's shrunk. Look at that, friends. Isn't that beautiful? All dry, beautiful dry fur. The boy is, uh, he stacks a good pile of wood. It's that little spot for a freaking mouse in behind all the wood. Always have a little spot for the mouse in behind there. See that? See? That's real good. Now that it's dry, we're loving life. Okay, anyway. Um, so there will, here, here, here's, a, here's a little cleanup of this uh, in closing, okay? Um, there was one fella that made a comment about, I would like to see you use a 200T with more weight on the strap. Okay, I just done that. I just did it. And I full squirted the saw and I went whack. And I, I'm not sure what the other comments uh, were, but uh, I think there was one that said, if you lean on your scare strap, if you lay back on your scare strap, put more weight on the scare strap, and you hit it with, with full squirt with a 200T, it's gonna cut it clean in half. That is just absolutely not true. It's absolutely not true. I just proved it right there twice in the same video, and then I tried to cut it off. So, Yes, I understand with more weight, it's like a string. When you're cutting a string and it's, 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 it's sloopy, it's harder to cut. When you reef on it and make it like a guitar string, yes, it's gonna cut easier. I get all that. But friends, I was just leaning on my strap. I wasn't on my, I wasn't on my lifeline. The lifeline was just there, just about in action to catch me when that thing broke. And it didn't even break, as a matter of fact. I tried to cut it to cut it off with the 200T. So the first couple wax on the, on the scare strap didn't even hit the steel core. They didn't. <laughs> so friends, I'm a realist. I, I can't live by what other people think or say or heard somewhere. You're not going to hear it here. You're going to see it here. Okay. I, 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 like I told you, I'm not here to waste nobody's freaking time. There's enough YouTube going on doing that as there is. I'm not into it and i can't watch it go on so i just watch what's true and i listen to what's true and i i when i wanted to learn how to do my craft or when i wanted to straighten out my life years ago i didn't go talk to the person who read a book on how to straighten out your life i went to a person who was in the freaking ditch like i was and who thought about taking their own lives on several occasions but who didn't and who salvaged his way out of it and found a better way to live. That's the guy I want to talk to because he's had experience and knowledge in that particular situation. Not what he read in a book, not some counselor that read in a book that that could be this and that could be that, sir. And you're probably suffering from uh, low self-esteem. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> do, do you see the analogy I'm trying to make here, friends? <laughs> I know it's a funny one, but it's the same trip. It's the same trip. I want to I wanna learn from the 30-year vet what he did to file his power saw and what he did to do. I'm talking, not talking about me. I'm talking about other people. Guys like Bear Claw and all them freaking guys that have been doing it longer than I have. I want to learn from those guys. Not the guy who learned how to file a power saw on YouTube and he's been filing a power saw for two weeks and he makes a video on how to file your power saw correctly. I don't want to learn from that guy. Listen, it ain't a blade. Okay, it's not a blade. You're not sharpening no blade. So if you hear blade, be careful. Please be careful. It's a power saw or a chainsaw and a chain <laughs> and a bar. So friends, just be careful where you hear your knowledge. If you're climbing trees and you're worried about, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've nicked my strap. Those straps that I've been using, I've nicked those straps probably five, six times in, in, their, in their lives. I just hit it on full squirt with a 200 T sharp. Just hit it once just to test to see what it would be like. Didn't even hit the steel core. Didn't hit it. So friends, I can't tell you what to do. I, I surely can't tell you what to do. But if you're watching one of my videos, it isn't coming from something I heard. Trust me on that one. It ain't coming from something I heard or something I read. It's coming from something I seen with my own eyes or that has been incorporated into my game for the last 25 years. There's enough people wasting your time on YouTube. You don't have to have me doing it for you too. Over and out friends, be kind to one another. I'm a little fired up tonight on this video because I get like that sometimes. I'm a passionate man. Be kind to people. Over and out.